Welcome to Ibrahim. In this video, we are going to see the multiple choice questions that is MCQs related to the metal forming processes and specifically hot and cold working and which is a part of a manufacturing process. All these MCQs are concept based MCQs and also we will provide the explanation for each MCQ. Let us begin. First MCQ. Metal forming process performed above recrystallization temperature can be classified as and options are hot working, cold working, warm working and none of these and the correct answer is hot working. Now let us try to understand that the metal forming process can be classified into two categories based on the temperature of a material. So if we are heating the material or work above certain temperature which is called as a recrystallization temperature that process is called as a hot working process and if we are forming or if we are changing the shape of an material at room temperature that is called as a cold working process so let us move to the next question dash dash is a process by which deformed grains are replaced by new set of non deformed grains and options are hardening recrystallization transition and pre-crystallization and the correct answer is recrystallization now this recrystallization happens when we heat a material to a certain temperature which is again called as a recrystallization temperature and after that what happens that the grains or this is kind of an crystals so crystals of this materials are getting formed and they increase in size and they create the grains right so here you can see that there is a complete grain structure so the previous grain structure is replaced by this new grain structure and which is a part of an hot working process as far as the metal forming is concerned let us move to the third question which is not a correct statement about the hot working process and we have been given the four statements so let us see each statement one by one the metal become plastic and causes the growth of grain right so this seems to be the correct statement as per as the hot working is concerned right mechanical properties such as ductility improves so yes this is also an correct statement as per as the metal hot working is concerned amount of force and power required are less yes so this is also correct statement so if we compare the amount of force and power required for hot working is less than cold working process and the last option given is that good surface finish is achieved so this is not true in case of an uh, hot working process you don't get a good surface finish right so that is the one of the disadvantages of hot working process so we can say that this is the correct answer because we have been asked which is not a correct statement about the hot working process let us move to the next so we also know that the hot working process is the one uh, which is performed at a certain temperature right which is called as a crystallization or recrystallization temperature which of the following is not improved by cold working of metals right and let us see we have been given four options so hardness yes hardness is improved uh, uh, during this cold working process Toughness is also improved during the cold working process. Surface finish. So yeah. So in case of a cold working process, we get a better surface finish. And the last option is corrosion resistance. So there is nothing to do with the corrosion resistance uh, as far as the cold working is concerned. So the correct answer is corrosion resistance. So it doesn't improve the corrosion resistance, but it improves all other things, right? So let us move to the next question. So we know that the cold working process is the uh, any metal forming process which is performed at a room temperature. Which process got a better dimensional accuracy and options are hot working, cold working, warm working and both hot and cold working. And we have seen that cold working is the operation okay, which gives you a better dimensional accuracy. Right. So moving to the next question. The increase in hardness due to the cold working is and options are cold hardening, 
hot hardening work hardening and age hardening and the correct answer is work hardening now this phenomenon is called as an work hardening so let us try to understand this work hardening uh, so this is the rolling process right so there are two rolls and this is the input material which is getting pressed between these two rolls right and we are getting a, a reduced uh, thickness of an material now here you can note that the grain structure you can see here right and the grain structure seen over here you can see that the grains are getting deformed when they are passing through these rolls right and this deformed grains will increase the hardness of this material right and this particular phenomenon is called as a work hardening which also increases increases the strength of material right but it also increases the hardness also of material and which reduces the ductility of an material moving to the next question during hot working of metals and options are poor surface finish is produced scale is formed on the metal surface close tolerance cannot be maintained and all of these and the correct answer is all of these now let us see what exactly uh, this point is now in hot working process uh, what is actually happening is that so the scale is getting formed on metal surface so this is the these are the roll rolling plates which are being manufactured with the help of an hot working process right or hot rolling process now you can see that there is a kind of a scale is being produced so you can see that this scale is produced due to the oxidation process because in hot rolling we are heating the material to a certain temperature and at that temperature it is very prone to the oxidation process so here it, you can see that it is a kind of an corrosion kind of an uh, thing is happening over here so this is called as a scale right so you can see that there is a brown scale over this uh, plate rolling plates rolled plates right which also gives rise to a poor surface finish so you get a poor surface finish as a result of this scale and you cannot maintain the close tolerances as a effect of these scales right so all these three effects are found due to the hot working of metal which of the following is not true for cold working of metals and we have been given four options so let us see each option one by one the first option is the residual stresses are set up in the metal right so yeah if we consider the cold working process this is true right and let us move to the next option stress required to cause the deformation is less than the hot working of metals right now we know that the stress required for the cold working process is higher as compared to the hot working process so this statement is not a correct statement let us move to the next statement it provides a good dimensional accuracy yes this statement is correct and the last one is distortion of grains takes place in most of the cold working processes right so we have seen that this statement is also correct so, so we can see that this is the option okay which is not true right as far as the cold working of metal is concerned let us move to the next question chances of crack propagation are more in and options are cold working process hot working process both cold and hot working process and none of these and the correct answer is cold working process now this is these are the some of the cracks which are being developed right uh, in uh, while performing the cold working process right now the chances of crack propagations are more in cold working process because of the work hardening because in cold working the work hardening of material takes place so the material become more hard it loses the ductility and chances are that the crack will form the last question plastic deformation of metal takes place when the stress induced in metal due to the applied force reaches the and options are yield point proportional limit rupture strength and ultimate strength and the correct answer is the point right so let us see a stress strain curve for an metal now here you can see that the stress is there on y axis strain is there on x axis and if we plot these two things for a material during the tensile strength test 
we can see that we get a different point so the p is an proportionate limit right e is an elastic limit and y is your yield point so actual plastic deformation of metal takes place okay when the stress is reaches to this point of an yield point so these were the some of the important mcqs related to the metal forming and hot and cold working process you will get many such mcqs on the same channel so keep watching these videos and do not forget to subscribe this channel thank you